Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to JC's Anime Reviews, and today we're going to be talking about the most recent episode of Black Clover, episode 168. But before we begin, if you haven't already, I would really appreciate it if you subscribed. It helps me out a lot, and it's totally free. Anyways, let's get into the video. There's a lot I want to talk about this week. So the episode starts off with Asta and a few of the Black Bulls recovering, and you have the medical mage there, I can't remember his name, healing Asta, and he's saying how he doesn't know of what's gonna happen with his arm so it looks like he may completely lose it but who knows it looks like he just has no clue what's gonna happen with it and then they find out that gray may not have the transformation magical attribute because she healed gosh completely like completely restored the tissue and everything so they think her magic might not be transformation which could be interesting because her main character arc is that she feels kind of useless because all she can do is transform into stuff or change magical attributes or something like that so it looks like she's gonna be a lot more useful and I'm curious to see what happens with her character and then right after this you see Asta wake up in the middle of the night and remember what happened he remembers that Zenon the bone guy they actually say his name in this episode took Yami and you see him he goes to get his grimoire out to get his sword and you see Yami's sword come out of it and then he just runs to go and try to save him right away without even thinking or anything. He just goes to run at the guys. And then when Asta goes to run away, he gets stopped by some dude wearing like a cloak. And we saw him in a previous episode where it looked like he was infiltrating the Spade Kingdom or whatever, but we don't really know who he is. And he stops Asta because he says that it's stupid to go and try to defeat the devils himself because he didn't really stand a chance against them and almost completely destroyed his arm or might have completely destroyed short his arm just to beat one of them and then Asta turns around and goes to attack him and the guy stops him with it looked like all these hands that would, came out and grabbed him. It looked like the hands that the one guy uses in ReZero, Beetle Goose or Juice, but uh, it looked like that. And you see that he grows devil horns and he has a little devil on his shoulder. So it looks like he has devil power, but it looks like he can control it, unlike Asta. And it also looks like he has multiple devils under his control, which is really interesting. And then he tells Asta that his name is Noct and he's the vice captain of the Black Bulls. And apparently has been this entire time he just didn't like yami so he never showed up and he was a spy in the spade kingdom so he was doing that the whole time and he said that he's only been in the hideout like once because of how much he just really doesn't like yami i thought this guy was really cool like within the first five minutes i really liked him and he's become one of my favorite characters within just a few minutes he's just super badass and he just seems really cool he hasn't even really fought or anything but it seems like once he starts fighting it's gonna be pretty cool he also tells Asta that he'll teach him how to control his devils, so that's gonna be interesting. It looks like he's gonna become his master and train him over, like, three days or something like that, but that was really cool. I like that they finally said who the vice captain was. I always assumed that it was Finral, but they never confirmed it. Whenever they would introduce a captain, they would be like, this is the captain and this is the vice captain, and then they never did that for the Black Bulls, so I've always been wondering who it is, and now we finally know. And then it shows that they have an emergency emergency captain's meeting and it looks like you knows the captain for now because vengeance got taken away so it looks like he's in charge because he's the vice captain and they all go and are talking about what to do about this and everybody doesn't really know what to do they start arguing and stuff like that and then Noct just shows up out of nowhere he just pops up from the ground holding Asta and just basically explains to everyone what they need to do he just shows up and is like, oh yeah, uh, let's do this, I have a plan, we just need to train Asta for however many days, and once he gets strong enough, he can help us beat him, and he says that we'll go and attack them in three days. He explains that Yami and Vengeance are going to stay alive until they end up breaking these seals to the underworld and once they get to the final seal with i'm pretty sure it was supposed to be lucifer it was something else lucy something and they explain that it, once they get to the final seal and he gets out they're basically screwed and yami and vengeance are gonna die and then everyone else is pretty much fucked because the dude is that strong 
And then everyone ends up finding out that Yuno is the prince of the Spade Kingdom, and they all freak out and basically say he shouldn't go on the mission, even more so because he got beaten the first time by the guy, and then the second time he's the prince. There the, those two reasons are why he shouldn't go. And then he gives this whole speech, and like wind starts flying everywhere, and you see bells like creating this force field or generating enough magic to go and beat him. I thought that was kind of cool. He gave this whole speech, and then they're like, "Yeah, you should go and help him because he's like, I need to." free vengeance because we messed up and the only reason he got captured is because he was protecting all of us so he kind of feels like it's his fault and i'm assuming that he's gonna end up beating xenon i'm really glad that they finally revealed his name because i just kept calling him the bone guy in the past few or in the last two videos and then they just basically say okay we're gonna train for three days and then we're gonna go and beat this guy or beat all the devils before they end up breaking the final barrier which is making me think that they're going more towards like a movie route because there's supposed to be two episodes left now and the way that they're building it up seems like there's going to be a movie because they said that it's going to end and they have a, an announcement afterwards so it could be a movie it could also be like oh yeah the show's coming back or they could just rush it and beat the devils in the, these next two episodes i'm guessing it's going more towards a movie route who knows though we got two weeks to find out also at the very end of the episode noelle wakes up and there's the L around her which were the bad guys for a really long time until they ended up being beaten and then they were good but yeah i don't know where they came from i thought they all died i don't know what's gonna happen but it looks like the elves may help in some way maybe they'll give noelle power and then she's gonna be able to fight vanica and hopefully beat her so i'm really curious to see what happens with that i didn't see that coming at all it just ends with the elves showing up this week was a really good episode we got to see the vice captain finally and and a lot of interesting stuff happened, so I'm really curious to see where the series goes from here. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the description. Let me know what you thought of this episode, and if you think it's gonna come back, or end with these next two episodes, or be a movie. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I plan on reviewing the next two Black Clover episodes, because they're supposed to be the last ones, and we'll see what happens after that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe. I would really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.